The Montreal Canadiens lost to the Dallas Stars last night. The final score to this one was 5-2 for the Stars, but overall, I mean, it wasn't a bad game. This is what I would call a good loss, alright? They lost the game, but in a very entertaining fashion. Even out shooting the Stars last night 34 to 30. But in the end, uh, let's face it, I felt like Dallas really took advantage of a young Canadian's defense. They exploited them a little bit. And that kind of stuff is gonna happen throughout the season. There's gonna be a lot of hiccups along the way. But what I'm about to do in this video is I'm gonna talk all about the positive things from last night. Okay, let's not be a bunch of negative Nancys here. Let's pick out all the good things. Starting with Starber Jackoy. And listen, okay, Joel Edmondson is getting close to returning. He's already practicing with a no contact jersey on. Darren Drager also mentioned the other day that Hughes is in the market for a right handed defenseman right now. But I'm just saying, I'm just gonna put this one out there, okay? How do you send a guy like Arbor Jackoy to Laval right now? How do you even take him out of the lineup? How do you do it? No, 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 you can't. This guy is cementing himself into the lineup. Last night he had one goal, he had one assist, and uh, he topped that off with about seven hits. Keeping guys like Jamie Benn in line the whole night, Arby had himself a hell of a game. So let's head on over to the Junkie Tron here and have a goo at some of this. Here's Jack Eyes sitting up the first goal of the game, jumping up into the rush and making a perfect, look at this, aerial pass. Right to the stick of Jake Evans, he throws it on Nit, and garbage man Mike Hoffman bangs home the garbage. Side note, Hoffman's value just went up a little bit, okay? I can dream. I can dream. Jeez. Moving on, here's Jack Eye scoring his first goal in the NHL. My God, brings a tear to my eye. Receives this pass from Sean Monaghan. Does the little stutter step at the blue line. Look at that. Oozing with confidence, wrists the puck at the net, and it gets past Jackie Chan Ottinger. What a game for Jack Eye. He was only one fight away from a Gordie Howe hat trick. I thought it was going to happen. You probably thought it was going to happen. Uh, he thought it was going to happen. But at the end of the day, there was nobody on the Dallas Stars bench wanting some of this. His seven hits during this game was a thing of beauty. I'm really starting to believe that players on the other teams are becoming quite aware of this guy. I mean, it doesn't even seem like anybody's dumping the puck in behind him anymore. Because they don't want to go in to get it and, you know, get gutted like a fish. What a player. Thank you, Mark Bergevin. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <sighs> thank you. Now, I also wanted to point out that Nick Suzuki picked up a secondary assist on Jack Eye's goal as well. That brings his tally now up to 7 points in 6 games. Look at this, over a point per game so far this season. So for those of you that were worried about him carrying the C on his jersey early on, so far, I mean, you gotta admit, he looks pretty good. Sean Monahan was on the board again last night. He's now got 4 points in 6 games. And can you believe that the Canadians were paid by the Flames a first round pick just to take this guy? Take him! Go on, run. What a gift this deal. Whether they re-sign him later on down the road or trade him off at the trade deadline, this was a huge win for Kent Hughes. A huge win. But all in all, I mean, it was a solid week for the Habs. Win or lose, we've seen a lot of promising play from the kids. Don't worry about all the mistakes. These guys are young. They're going to make them, and uh, hopefully they're going to learn from them. All is well. That does it for this video, guys. Don't forget to slap the like button's arse on the way out of here, and hey, I'll see you next time.